lack of priority and lack of qualified individuals tasked to perform it. This is just some of what Public Auditor Doris Flores Brooks had to say about the Department of Corrections. In the OPA report released on Sunday, she concludes that DEPCOR's facilities compromise guard, prisoner and community welfare, which may result in civil lawsuits and federal receivership. Her report shows that the dilapidated facilities in constant need of repair are aggravated by the influx of prisoners. With over 700 prisoners reported in December 2013, DOC may be operating 192 percent above capacity. To cope, DOC has had to house prisoners in temporary, canvas-like structures, convert other spaces like the library, classrooms and offices into an open bay system, and add additional structures to the original building, none of which offer optimal security. This is in addition to one prisoner cells housing as many as four prisoners. All these, quote, makeshift arrangements for prisoner influxes, she notes, were spearheaded by the warden who recently retired and his directives not documented. But how to fix DEPCOR's growing pains? The public auditor reports that DOC lacks design plans, standards, and a management strategy to address forecasted growth, reduce recidivism, and re help the reintegration of prisoners back into the community. Her office recommends DOC develop and maintain a master plan to guide the overall construction and development of its prison system. She urges DOC Director Jose San Augustin to work with the governor to reestablish a DOC task force to develop both short-term and long-term measures to address capacity issues. This on top of working with the Attorney General's office and other officials of the criminal justice system to determine and implement strategies to reduce the detainee population. Currently, Guam has the highest detention rate in the world. As of April 2013, 65% of DOC's total population consisted of pre-trial detainees. In response to the OPA's report, Senator Brent McCready issued a release noting that he introduced two bills aimed at constructing a new correctional facility, both of which weren't heard on session floor. He urges the legislature act now and announces that his first bill, upon inauguration into the 33rd Guam legislature, will once again be aimed at constructing a new, safe and modern correctional facility. On January 7th, the incumbent senator says he will be touring DOC and invites other officials in the criminal justice system join him. The tour will be followed by a roundtable discussion on January 14th. Brian Jason, back to you.